Hi, uh, Tony Flying Squirrel here. Uh, some of you on Facebook may have seen that I've been working on a baritone Telecaster project for some time. Uh, it's still not completed, but I thought I'd just kind of share with you a little bit um, progress so far. Um, originally, I got this neck from Ken Warmoth. used to be my employer when I worked at Warmoth Guitar Products uh, for about a year. Uh, he gave me this baritone Telecaster neck. and um, I have since then had it fretted uh, with Dunlop 6100 uh, size fret wire. Um, got the guitar body from Guitar Fetish, routed out the traditional Telecaster single coil pickup area for a full size humbucker. Um, currently there's a DiMarzio D Sonic in there, um, standard space, not F space, because this is not a trim equipped guitar. Um, this pickup is only temporary. This is going to be kind of a different animal. I'm, uh, eventually going to be having a, a good friend custom wind me a very low output pickup with um, some characteristics uh, similar of a Filtertron that you would see in some of the older Gretches and a PAF that you would see in some of the vintage Les Pauls. Much cleaner, lower output, not as distortion of a sounding pickup. Um, and I'll have a traditional more Telecaster pickup in the neck here. The wiring schematic on this is pretty straightforward but not very typical for what I've used for the most part. This has a traditional Telecaster switch in the sense that you have the neck, you have both, and you have the bridge and when it's in the center position it takes both pickups in, in uh, parallel. This is a four position switch however so when I'm in the number one position it emulates the center position of a normal Telecaster switch but in parallel I'm sorry, in series, not in parallel. So traditionally a Telecaster, when selecting both pickups, it does it in series, meaning both pickups arrive at the volume pot at the same time. This, however, sends the uh, signal through one pickup, through each coil, out into the other pickup, and then goes into it. You get a little bit more fuller and more output of a sound. It's just something different. I've never really experimented with it before. and. Um, it uh, will be kind of a different animal. Um, I've also got a push-pull pot here. That will eventually hold a booster circuitry, so when I'm pulling it out, it'll have an increased output. It'll push the front end of the amp a little bit to get a little bit more of a heavier sound, typical to what I usually use in my other guitars. This being what it is, it's going to be its own kind of animal. Um, so, what is a baritone guitar? Well, a baritone guitar is basically a standard six string guitar with an extended scale length. Most Telecasters are a 25 and a half inch scale. This is a 28 and 5 eighths inch scale. That means the distance between the nut to the bridge saddles. What that enables you to do is utilize higher string tension for lower tuning. So using a, a more vintage preset on a Fender Tweed Bassman, um, this is what it sounds like with this, again, not the end result uh, pickup that I will normally be using, but you get the idea. Now, what, I, what I'm tuned down to, here's what I would normally sound like if I were playing a traditional Telecaster in this position. Now, mind you, I'm transposed up using a capo. This is where a, a low E would normally be. And then E, e A, D, G, e, B, E. This is uh, how this guitar would normally be playing. Now, if I remove the capo and do that open down here. You see what that kind of has a lower tuning like. Now, if I grab one of my typical high gain presets and utilize that, um, this is what it sounds like. Similar to my 7th string, minus the high E. So normally when I would be playing an E, it would be up here. Just playing an E and an A chord. If I play it down here like I uh, normally would on that guitar, it's at a lower tune. 
that's the progress so far. Eventually this will also be covered in buckskin. Uh, similar to the 1998 White Buffalo Miracle Custom Telecaster that appeared in Fender's Custom Shop calendar. So that's a snippet of it in the meantime. More to come as it uh, gets more completed. It'll have its own quirkiness and be a different animal. And the whole reason is just to force me to play and write differently to uh, inspire new ideas um, outside of what I normally would do in my normal heavy rock context. So hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching.